الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى في هذه اللحظات الطيبة أن يفرج عن ليبيا وأن يجمع شملنا وأن لا يفرغ بيننا This two days will be fun and will be enjoyable experience that we can take with us I um, would like to begin by expressing my gratitude and honor for your accepting our invitations and uh, be with us here tonight. For these two days, it's, um, it's a massive, massive, massive event for us to organize. I uh, also would like to thank the organizer and everyone contributed for the success of this event. I would like to single two persons here, Dr. Nasser Gaith and, uh, and May, for hard work and endless days and nights to, to make this a possible and reality. I'm very, very excited about this event for, for many, many reasons. Um, it's very important and very encouraging to have such people coming from Libya and all over the place, many across the continent to be with us today. They are experts in the field of education. We have ministers, we have deputy ministers, we have ex-ministers, we have the National Congress representative here, Dr. Salah Mitu, Dr. Hassan Stata. Um, it is a huge, I hope it is a huge success that is that we all united today and tomorrow for the success of this event. Dr. Naim Giriani is a minister of higher education, ex-minister of higher education, Dr. Fatih Akari, minister of health, Dr. Fatima Hamroush, and uh, Salman Koja, deputy minister of education, so many others. I'm also honored to, to receive our prominent professor and doctor in this country who are with us today. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Mahdi, and the rest. And most of all, that is to receive you all here. And also our distinguished guests and our researcher, PhD researchers, who contributed to the success of this event. This forum is about higher education, and it is about vision for the future. And what we mean by vision for the future that is, we need to think forward. Libya has been hijacked for many, many years by a tyrant, by dictatorship, where we could not do anything over the last 40 years. It's a one-man show. Libya now is free. It is a young nation with five millions, with 2,000 kilometers on the Mediterranean, with these huge resources. And it is a huge, you know, ambition that is we have to develop this sector. The education sector lay, lay in the heart of, of our development. And it's very important that is this sector is going the right directions. We have the well, we have the experts, we have, uh, we have all the desire to make this sector successful. There are obstacles there and here and we try to overcome. Um, I've always thought about the higher educational policy. Do we have a higher educational policy in Libya? If we do, what are they? I think this is a challenging question, and I'm, I have been instructed not to speak too much. The time is limited. Uh, these kind of questions I would rather leave to our distinguished guests who have more perhaps knowledge than I do to take this further for these two days to discuss. We have issues related to the health sectors. We have experts. We have doctors in this country who worked. We have more than 500 consultants, I believe, that are working full time in this country. 
who we need to recruit back home. We, we need their service. And this is another challenge for us to get them back. And how we can get them back, the questions. What actually the policy we have to recruit these people back and get their services. There is another challenging issue with, to do with autonomy at the university. In Libya, everyone, again, is centralizations. We want to have a degree of freedom. We want to run our own affairs accordingly. Each university has a right to develop itself and, um, and have an agreement with other universities. And um, I believe we do have quite a good number from our university back home representative who are actually with us today here to basically see their counterpart from this country and uh, hopefully we go forward and develop um, an agreement and joint ventures. Um, the health sectors has always concerned me and concern many, many others. We have a lot of PhD students, we have postgraduate students in this country are struggling to have the right training for themselves to develop our country, beginning from that grassroots in the health sectors. Dr. Fatima and the rest who are actually um, expert in the field will, will take this further later on with you. Um, I hope this is a successful event. I'm sure that is, we all wanted to help developing the high education. Uh, as I said earlier, we have all the knowledge and the skills around us. It's just about how we can, you know, draw a clear pictures for the vision for future for the high education. I um, would like to basically now um, leave it to others to discuss this with you. I welcome you all and thank you for coming and making this is possible for us. Thank you so much.